So you want to learn how to set up Bing Ads conversion tracking? Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down step by step exactly what you need to do to be able to make that happen. So you definitely want to stick with me throughout the rest of this video. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you're here on this channel right now and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will eventually give you the freedom you deserve all right so with that being said we're going to jump right into today's content all right so you can see i'm here inside of the bing ads manager um it's you know now called microsoft ads but you know i'm pretty much getting used to <laughs> saying bing so now let's get into the step-by-step -step process and what you need to do to be able to set up um the conversion tracking all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the left side panel okay and then we're going to go to conversion tracking we're going to click on that and then you can see this is pretty much mapping out the process for you now what we're going to do is we're going to click on uet tags okay hopefully you see that right there and then we're going to go ahead and create a uet tag now this says you already have a uet tag but that's only if you're you if you don't have to create another one if unless you plan on running everything through the same website but if you're running multiple websites then you want to go ahead and create yourself a UET tag another one all right so we're gonna go ahead and create UET tag and then we're gonna name our tag so I'm just gonna name this test um, test leads because usually if I'm doing this I'm doing this to be able to track leads some people are doing like e-commerce like Shopify and they actually use this to track sales and add to carts and different things like that all right so I'm just going to put test leads and we're, we're not going to really do this unless they actually access to just in case they do. Let me go ahead and just go test leads test. All right. So then I hit save and then boom, it gives me a code. Now, the next step, what I want to do with this code is I want to put this in my website. So if you're using click funnels, online sales pro, um, build a raw, whatever it is that you're using or it's your WordPress or whatever it is. You want to go ahead and copy this all right so let me just hit copy right here all right so boom so now i'm gonna make sure i copy like this all right so it's copied now we're going to go over to click funnels i want to use click funnels to do this but like i said um this could vary with whatever you're using whether it's shopify or whatever it is all right all right so i'm going to use this first funnel right here all right now here are the steps so right now i'm installing so that it goes up on across all of the uh, websites within this funnel so if i go to here to settings and this is if you're using click funnels um, but if you're using something else um, they i'm sure pretty sure they have a way for you to set it across the entire funnel all right so now you can see here where it says head tracking code we want to paste that in there like that and then we want to go down hit save and update now that's to go across the entire funnel. Now we're gonna have to go to the next page in which we're actually trying to track the stuff on. We're gonna have to put a conversion goal over there, right? That's gonna be what we're tracking that page for. So now I can uh, pretty much hit the X on this. And then now we wanna go to conversion goals, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna hit create conversion goal. And then now it says destination URL, duration, pages viewed events and you can see right here this is the one we're going to be using you see it says track every time someone completes a specific action such as subscribing to a newsletter or downloading a white paper or a conversion so we're going to click on event and then you can see it says you'll need to customize your ET to report a custom event um, let's just actually use the destination URL sorry about that and then hit next we'll put test again hit next and then you can see here please select a scenario so we'll go ahead and we'll just put equals to because whatever web page I actually put in here that's going to be the web page that it tracks so if I put here so like for example if I take this link right here let me make sure I'm not having any additional spaces or anything like that copy that like that and then we're going to come back over here put the web page URL and then you can see only visits to this exact URL will be considered conversions, okay? And then what we want to do is we want to put on this account, right? Unless you got other accounts and you want it to track across the entire, you know, your entire um, ad manager, then that's when you would change it to across all accounts. But in this case, we're only going to focus on this account. 
and then you see enter how much each conversion is worth to your business we're not going to assign a value as you can see it says use a conversion value if you want to track and optimize your revenue but if you're just trying to track for leads then you could just do don't assign value but if you are over here each conversion then that's when you would actually set what is going to what you're going to actually make when those conversions happen all right, so right here you see it says select how you would like to count your conversions. So since I'm trying to track for leads, I'm going to go here to unique because you can see it says if one ad click leads to three purchases, that will count as one conversion versus if I go up here for all, it'll be if one ad click, click leads to three purchases, that will count as three conversions, right? So that's just letting you know, this one will be more for like if you're doing it for leads, but if this one will be more for like if you're doing it for sales, like if you're doing Shopify or something like that. All right, and then if I go down, um, I usually leave this, um, you can leave this at 30 days. That's pretty much where within a 30 day span, it will track conversions. But if your conversion happens outside of that 30 day window, they won't track it as a conversion. All right, so that's what that means. And then the view through conversion, I usually just leave that up there. Um, the include inversions, com conversions, you could actually leave that checked. And then you could just right here, you can click on the UE tag that you're trying to use, which I'm trying to use test leads. And then what we wanna do is we just wanna copy it because what it just did is it put everything in here based on the settings that you created up here. So now what I would do is I would go ahead and hit copy. And then I will go over here to the second page, which is the page that I actually want to track the, the leads on. I would actually go into this, hit edit. All right, give it a few seconds. And then what I want to do is I want to go here to tracking code, and then I want to paste the code right in there. Okay, and then after I paste the code, I hit save. And then it's saved. Now I go back. All right. So now a tool that you're going to have to get is the UET tag helper. Okay. This is for you can actually track to see if your see if your stuff is set up correctly. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to track. We're going to check um, the first page. All right. So we're going to check this page, and then we're going to see if the tag is actually showing up. Is it showing up like it should? So boom, there's this page, and then I click on the little UET tag helper, and then I go ahead and turn it on. Now I'm gonna have to actually refresh this page. That's the only thing I hate about the UET tag helper. You gotta refresh it to actually see it. So boom, now you see a one showing up right there, and that means this UET tag is set up correctly. Boom, right, and then you can see the tracking code. It's right there. So now what I wanna do is I wanna pull up the other page, Boom, let's go ahead and just pull this up, you know, separately. All right, so there's that page. And then we're just going to pull that one up real quick. Hopefully, I don't have to refresh. Um, okay, so there it is. So now we got this page up there. And then now you can see we actually have, boom. So we got two tags actually there. So tags are working. Boom, we can, we can look right into them. And then I can do the same for this one. It says multiple UET tags on this web page, use the same event name. Um, we're, we're pretty much good because you've already seen that it said um, the tag was set up correctly, but once it actually starts generating things, then you can actually make that happen. All right, so that's using ClickFunnels. Um, that's how you go ahead and set up your Bing Ads conversion tracking. Like I said, if you're using anything else, um, you can definitely just figure out how their stuff works and then you can kind of just use this video as a guide, all right? So hopefully you got some value from this video, and if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful or valuable, and if you want to learn how you can actually master Bing and get better, I left a course down below. You can check the course out if you like. Um, if not, that's fine too. I hope you got value from this video, and until next time, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.